All right, guys, we're going to do a review today. Let me open up this package real quick, and then we're going to take it out to the course. Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf System and the channel where I use my game to try and help your game. And today, as promised in a previous video, I teased this, but I've got something in from Amazon that one of my subscribers told me about, and it's these, the Zero Friction Tour Spin Golf Balls. They have a distance version, and then they also have the Spectra, which is, uh, they've got different colors in that. But the Zero Friction Tour Spin is their upper crust ball. The other dozen golf balls that you can buy from Zero Friction, I believe at the time of this video, are $19.99 a dozen, and these were $21.99. So a dozen golf balls at 22 bucks a piece is pretty great. I uh, found these on Amazon. You can click my link down below. It will take you to your Amazon page, and at no extra cost to you and no obligation to you, any purchases that you make on Amazon, if you will go through my link to get to your page, it helps out the channel. Now, I know that Zero Friction makes golf gloves and tees, but I did not know that they made golf balls. The packaging is really nice. Of course, this says that it gives you the maximum distance and the spin in the field, which every golf ball does. This is a three-piece golf ball. Now, a three-piece golf ball for you know 22 bucks is pretty great doesn't have a urethane cover which most premium golf balls have a urethane cover but it's got an 80 compression core so it's not going to be for the super high swing speeds either uh, but let's take a look before we get out to the golf course and check these out so there is the the sleeves in the box we'll open one of these up real quick before we get out to the golf course you can see that it's got the logo there and then on the side it says ZF Tour Spin. It's got a good alignment mark on the side. Oh, what is this bonus? I know what this is. In each sleeve, they include one zero friction tee. I've got somebody with me today, so we'll get two points of view on this golf ball. I'm going to give him a sleeve and see what he thinks about the zero friction Tour Spin golf balls. Let's get to it. All right, everybody, we're out here at the golf course. This is my buddy Austin. He's going to play with me today. I we're going to try these out and see how they do. I'm tracking everything on the golf pad app, so I'll see if I get an extra 75 yards on all my drives, and uh, if I hit every single fairway, we'll let you know. That is hit well. Just hit it right. No, no warm-up, no practice swings, no range time. This is the warm-up. I believe so. <laughs> and we're off. So let me start this out by first saying that I've tried out quite a few different golf balls. I mean, not only the balls that I pick up when I'm playing that I just happen to find, but also just trying out different golf balls to see what works and what might make a difference. And, and to be quite honest, most of the golf balls that are out there, when you're talking about average amateur golfers like us, people that shoot somewhere in the neighborhood of, let's say, 80, 82, all the way up to 95 and 100, they're really not going to notice a huge difference in golf balls, except when it comes to price and durability and visibility with all the new colors that they're coming up with now. It, it, it makes it easier to see the golf balls for most people. However, for me, I'm still playing the old classic white golf ball because I am super colorblind, and these are just easier to see. So through five holes, I've played out of two bunkers. I've been using the same ball the entire time. There are some slight blemishes, slight blemishes. So the ball is holding up pretty well, and as far as distance goes, I mean, it's pretty bang on for what I expect. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy over, nothing crazy under. Uh, the pitch shots and chip shots have been playing around the green. They're pretty normal as well. It's getting good, good check and good spin, good flight, and it feels really great coming off the putter. So far, so good. As I said before, this is a three-piece golf ball. A lot of the cheaper golf balls are going to be two pieces. So the price point of twenty-two dollars a dozen for a three-piece golf ball that's you know it's honestly pretty durable. Uh, that is, in my opinion, that's hard to beat. Uh, they're made with a lower compression core. It's an eighty compression core. Uh, they say that they give you greater feel and greater ball control. Uh, it's got a soft ionomer cover and a firm ionomer mantle inside, and they're endorsed by Johnny Miller. Now, anybody who knows Johnny Miller knows that he's put his name on a lot of products through the years, so that's not necessarily saying much. 
guess, in the pond. These balls can find the pond just like any of the golf balls out there. I am playing pretty terrible today, but it's got nothing to do with the golf ball. I've got good check around the greens, too. I had a wedge in there out of the rough that checked up really nice, so the spin on them is pretty, pretty decent. The feel and touch that I had around the greens with pitch shots, wedge shots, really, really everything. This was a great golf ball. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Austin plays maybe once every month or two. He doesn't chunky. play very often, and he was not having a very good day, as I was not having a very good day either. He really smoke. laced a drive here right down the middle, and then smoke. I followed him up and hit one, and we were pretty much neck and neck Ooh. as far as yardage goes. At the end of the day, Austin and I both agreed. For our skill level, paying 20 to $23 for a dozen golf balls and is really a great value. There's no way that somebody of our skill level needs to be paying 50 bucks a dozen for these premium golf balls when we don't notice much of a difference really. All right, so the 18th hole, honestly, these golf balls have done exactly what they're supposed to do. Uh, the distance has not been over or under for me. Oh my goodness. Hammered down the right, drawing back to the left. Oh, bad bounce. That is super playable though. That is awesome. I'll tell you one thing, I haven't gotten any excessive curvature out of this ball. That's another thing, you know, I'm not getting big slices or big hooks. It's a very gentle curve, if anything. It's a pretty straight ball. Um, this has been a terrible ball strike a day for both of us, but, you know, isn't that the way you want to measure a golf ball? You don't want to measure it when you're playing super great. You want to measure it when you're playing average or even below average to see if it gives you some advantage when you're playing terribly. There's $20 worth of air in the tire. <laughs> at the end of it all, I would definitely buy this golf ball and continue playing it. It's an excellent golf ball, I and like, I love the zero right, friction no, tees that they include right with side. each one. It's I mean, really that's just great, an added bonus, you know? Wasn't the best lie.